It's been a pretty long time since I started playing Rocket League Sideswap and I still love it. I love everything of this game, partying up with your friends and playing this game together, a diverse selection of cards and items, the simple to play but hard to master gameplay, I just love it all. Except the major problems in this game, which gives me major headaches sometimes. I've been seeing some problems since season 2 and it's getting worse every season. Game lag, server issue and much more other stuff which is causing a lot of problems for other players. Requesting Psyonix to fix these problems can be a bit complicated and difficult but if we get up together and request Psyonix then they can fix it. So make sure to share this video. Ever had this kind of lag issue like at the start you have 60 fps but after playing 2 or 3 matches your phone gets so warmed up the game starts lagging and the gameplay goes around 40 fps. Well this happens because of the thermal throttling safeguard installed in your phone. What is thermal throttling? Thermal throttling is a safeguard installed on your phone, PC or other devices which protects the device's CPU from becoming too much heated up and becoming unusable. So now I think you figured it out why sideswipe lags. But why does the thermal throttling occur? Why does the CPU warm up so much? There is nothing such heavy in this game which makes it lag. And this leads to my theory is that this game's got poor optimization. I have played a lot of poorly optimized games which didn't run properly on my phone even though I had the spec requirements. So sideswipe's got some poor optimization. However, this issue only occurs on some devices. Other devices are safe from this problem. There's a guy on reddit who said he had an iPhone X and Sideswipe worked on it really well. But after he started playing it on iPhone 13, he started suffering from performance issues. That was because of the thermal throttling safeguard installed in his phone. So Psyonix really needs to fix the unoptimized issue of this game. So what's the solution for now? Remember, no matter how you cap your FPS, either it's 60 or 48 or 30, this game will still lag even if you cap the FPS to 30, so don't try to cap it. Instead, for now, try to do this and reduce the lag as much as possible. Try using a fan when you play this game. I'm talking about the cooling radiator fans for phones, which you can use to play Sideswipe without heating up your phone. You can find them online or in your nearest electronic store. I don't have those radiator fan stuff, but I have something bigger. Incredibly bigger than the radiator fans. It's so big that it can even cool myself down. So you don't have to worry about the lag issue that's happening to me. You can also get these types of fans if you want. You teamed up with your friend in Sideswipe and started playing some matches. And right at the beginning, you noticed that the ping is around 300 to 500. It's okay if you and your friend lives in different regions and play in different servers. But what if I say me and my friend both play in the same server? We play both in the same India server, not any other server. We both have good internet speeds and don't suffer much in matches. But why this 300-400 MS ping whenever we play together? I'm pretty sure this is a server issue. People with high internet speeds also complaining about the server issues. Either they have high ping or a lot of lost inputs. If you look at this comment, this guy says he gets 100 ms ping sometimes in Sideswipe, but in Rocket League he gets only 20 to 30 ms ping. So I'm pretty damn sure this is a server problem. And to fix this, it's up to Cyanix Studios. Fixing their servers is the only way they can reduce the ping for every player. But for now, are there any solutions? Well, I don't think there are much solutions for this problem, unlike the FPS issue I described earlier. You can try the basic troubleshooting stuff, but I'm not sure if it will help or not. If it doesn't help, then you gotta wait until Psyonix fixes the servers. Oh, and one more thing. We need an option to change our servers. 
because without it the game will automatically send us to a server which will give us 1000 ping i actually had 1000 ping one day that day the game sent me to the south america server so until then we gotta keep requesting sonics to fix this What a good day in Sideswipe. You just ranked up to gold 3 in hoops finally after a long time of playing and grinding. Now you plan to play some more hoops and rank up to platinum. And so you play on some more hoops. And in your next match you see this guy on your opponent's team. And you lose. <laughs> it's called smurfing and it's a really big trouble for low ranked players. Because of this low ranked players get matched up against high ranked players and low ranked players die. This problem needs to be solved immediately. As a platinum player I also face GCs and have a really hard time. And not just me, there's a bunch of other players who suffer from this. To fix this problem we need a better matchmaking system in Sideswipe. Players should be matched against each other according to their both skill level and their rank. Using this matchmaking system would result in players getting matched against other players who has equal rank and skill. And if it's already there, then Psyonix needs to make it even more perfect and balanced. And they have to do it, because we don't want to lose against grand champions in gold lobbies and lose our ranks. So those were the major problems of Sideswipe. But there are also some minor bugs out there in this game. Like flips getting used in jumps. There's also the flip indicator bug which doesn't allow you to know if you have a flip or not. There also could be more minor problems and bugs that I haven't faced yet. And yeah, there's a proverb, unity is strength. And so what if we mix up all the minor problems in this game? Well, that'll become one huge problem. There might be some people who are suffering from most of the minor problems and having a major problem. Fixing some of these problems like the flipping negator bug will help people a lot. So these were the problems that I and Sideswipe player base has been suffering from. And I think many players have quit this game because of these issues. Even sometimes I also want to quit Sideswipe. So if you can, share this video and make more people request Sionix to fix Sideswipe. And my message to Sionix, please fix your game first, then put content to it. What is the benefit of getting new content if you can't play the game because it's too unstable? So let me know what you think in the comments. Are these bugs and problems irritating you a lot or you haven't encountered them at all? And to contact Sideswipe and request them to fix these problems or even show them this video, go to their website or even in Twitter or wherever you like. So if you found this video helpful and liked it, then like the video. And if you didn't find it helpful and didn't like it at all, then you can dislike it. And be honest, I wanna know if the Sideswipe community is actually suffering from it or not. So if you made it this far, then thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video.